area. Collins Mullen is on your left. Trey Lyons is on your right. Trey, a fan of Wolverine, maybe. Rawr. I'm not uh, going to speculate. That's that facial hair right there. We are underway with a chromatic star and an Urza's Tower as round number 10 begins here from Cincinnati. I'm really happy between Lions and Fonzie yesterday. People only with the Antiquities Tron pieces. Oh, you're a fan it's of a that. It's a nice look. Yeah. Going to have to they don't, disagree. They don't cost that much, and they look good. Now, for those of you who were not with us yesterday, you may have seen on social media, uh, Patrick and I are engaging in magic bingo. One of them is turn three Tron for me. No. One of them is turn three Tron for me. Let me go ahead and crack that star into a, a green mana and a Tron piece there, Trey. Well. Ooh, land war waste. Yeah. Is that? Uh, no, that's not a Tron piece. Here's a Sylvan scrying for what is likely to be a Tron piece. Classic. Classic no turn three Tron. Although you also have Ancient Stirrings finding a two-minute land. We had to adjudicate on this. And the no, rules... I wouldn't say we. You had to adjudicate on this. Right, but I'm good at doing that. Yeah. And the rule yeah. here is if the land in question could produce two or more mana were on the battlefield right now, that counts. Yes. So if it's the third Tron piece, you're good. But if he just Stirrings into a Tron piece and doesn't have it rolled up, you're not. So Collins is going to put a counter on his vial. You see Cavern of Souls naming human is how he kicked things off. Okay, well, I'll ask you a question there, Adjudicator. Okay. As Collins is going to fall down 19, potentially 17 with his windswept teeth. So right now, Trey has an Urza's power plant in his hand. Let's say he plays the stirrings for mine before he plays the has, power plant. No, has to That's be That's ridiculous. No, it's not. That is ridiculous. No, it's not. It has to be based on public information. What do you mean public information? So he's so scrying for the other Tron piece. So if he, if he, if he went turn one Land of War Waste, Ancient stirrings into a Tron piece, and he had the other two in his hand. You would count that? That's silly. That's no, plainly, I no, I, no, I wouldn't count that's that. Plainly silly. I wouldn't count that. But Collins knows that he has the other Tron piece in power plant, and then he finds mine with the stirrings. That's gotta, that's completely public. Got to be on the battlefield, man. All right, just making we up rules as we go. Just random adjudication. It's fine. Well, it's all random. That's fine. <laughs> that's fine. What do you mean? Yeah, just just <laughs> adjudicate. Of course, of course, it's random. Yeah, just, Adjudicate away. He, says, he also hasn't even cast the stirrings yet, so we're kind of getting ahead of ourselves here. Well, he's going to play a scrying right now. Going to find that other Tron piece, which does add two mana. It's an Urza's Mine. So Tron will be online next turn. But now you're very live because any ancient, any ancient stirrings into any Tron piece counts. You're good. You're darn right I'm good. But why would he stirrings for a Tron piece now when he needs the stirrings for a big threat? Because he doesn't get to choose what he finds. So <laughs> it, it's whatever five cards are on the top yeah. of his deck. It's not, a, it's not actually a tutor. I don't even think he's going to cast extra strings the whole match, so none of this even matters. Here comes Noble Hierarch through the vial. The clock is a little bit slow here for Collins. I think we'll see that vial go up to two, and we will. His third turn sees him start things at 19. He'll take a draw step. He's picked up a copy of Mantis Rider. A spell that he can cast right now, blue off of Hierarch, white off of the Plains, red off of the Cavern of Souls, if he so chooses. That's why I think the matchup might be a little trickier here than against Eldrazi Tron. Something like Thalia with an Exalted Trigger attacks pretty effectively against some of the Eldrazi, whereas this clock is just awfully slow against someone who's just building up a bunch of mana. Looks like he's going to go with Thalia Heretic Cathar. That's pretty adorable, actually. It's a nice one here. Yeah. And he's going to violin a little something here, too. It might be a mayor or a Thalia's lieutenant. We're just Thalia flooded. We are just Thalia flooded. Do you have uh, multiple legends with the same name no. as part of yours? I have two planeswalkers, but. No. Do I have anything that would benefit me at any point? No. I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine spots here yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Here comes Thalia for three. You're articulating a, a sense of victimhood that I think is unbecoming of you. Okay. We're going to go over to Trey. That's what we're going to do yeah, now. Yeah, we are. Yeah, yeah we're going to go yeah, over to Trey. Are. Oh, Karn. Powerful card. However, this land's going to enter the battlefield tap. Tron is online, but Tron's only tapping for six mana, not seven. And six is really the sweet spot for Trey's deck. Excuse me, seven is the sweet spot for Trey's deck. 
Six can be with Worm Coil Engine, but seven brings you Karn and it brings you Worm Coil Engine, or excuse me, and it brings you World Breaker. And he can't do either of those right now. Now he's got a Fatal Push at the ready, and that's all well and good. But that Fatal Push actually costs two, not one, because of Thalia, Guardian of Thraven. Mm -hmm. So, you know, in a perfect world, he would have been able to say, you know what, I'm going to Fatal Push your Thalia, Heretic Cathar, and then play my other Tron piece. But th everything just kind of doesn't line up appropriately on this particular turn. And it's just one additional turn that uh, Collins really needs. Exactly. I mean, the clock here is, is significant, and Mullen next turn gets to follow up with a Mantis Rider that we know about if he wants it. That might render Karn insufficient to stabilize this game. This is a Relic of Progenitus. And it will cost two because of the Thalia. We could see Collins kill as soon as next turn. He's got Manus Rider in hand. That threat has haste. It's also going to give plus one, plus one to Thalia's lieutenant. And he also has Mayor of Averbrook, which, while it doesn't have haste, it will give everything on the battlefield plus one, plus one. It'll also give Thalia's lieutenant an additional plus one, plus one because of Inhuman entering the battlefield. So we got a real shot here of seeing Collins maybe be able to get the job done right now. And even if he fails at generating lethal, it puts lines in a spot where Karn isn't good enough. He needs Ugin to be able to stabilize this one. It'll have to be Ugin, or it'll have to be something like Oblivion Stone. That's really about it? Three Oblivion Stones, two Ugins. But yeah. the Karn won't be... If the Karn came down this turn, or the previous turn that Lions played, it'd be very different. It would still be tight, but the Karn would have been fine last turn. But if there's a Vile activation, so that's that's going to put in... Mer or excuse me, that's going to put in Mana Rider. Continue. Just a, a lot of mana disruption from the last turn, where Lions' turn in a perfect world would have been Karn plus Fatal Push, mm -hmm. and instead was nothing. Mayor of Averbrook's also going to put a counter on that value's attendant, as I mentioned in the last turn. And now, if you're Collins, you turn them all sideways, and you're crossing the finish line unless Trey has Fatal Push. I would imagine that Fatal Push will just have to go on Mayor. Mayor's worth five points. Yeah, Mayor is worth a lot. So right now, if Mare dies, it'll be attacked for 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, 12, 13. It'll be attacked for 14. If you kill Mare... He has to take a point off Lanowar Waste. He has to take a point off Lanowar Waste. Yeah. So can you kill something else? You just kill the biggest threat, which is the biggest and best threat, which is probably just Thalia. Well, actually, he needs Revolt for that. Right. And he can't enable Revolt off a of Relic, I don't believe. Because it exiles? Yeah, it just leaves play. Oh, it leaves, just leaves play. play. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah. So if he kills Thalia Heretic Cathar, he would take, he'd go down to 14. But Mayor's still the most points on the table, right? It's five. Yeah. And nothing else is hitting that hard. So that's four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Yeah. I think he's just dead. No matter what he does. He kills Mary, takes 14 exactly, assuming Collins attacks with everything, which, uh, you know, he's 9-0. I'm going to give him a little credit here. There goes the Relic. The Graveyards will be exiled. Revolt has been triggered. Put a stamp on your bingo card if you uh, haven't done that one already, which I know you have. Well, he actually has to cast the Fatal Push and not just concede. Mm. Or to count. But would, I already got, would, I got a spot yesterday. That would have been a great way for you to not get it. Yeah. That would have been a great way. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, I don't. I, I think that if he kill Mayor is the thing generating the most damage. If he uses Lenin War Waste to kill a Mayor, it's Exaxes. Stallions did. They're both some pretty heavy good. Heavy lifting. They're both pretty good. Yeah, he kills Mare, that's fine. But again, three from Mana Rider, three from Lieutenant is six, three from the other Thalia is nine. I think it's exactly 14. Nine and four is 13. Noble Hierarch is 14. So that's everybody, no matter how you slice it. They're going to do the math here. Three, six, nine and four is 13. That's 14. Yeah, that is going to do it. Collins Mullen's going to win game number one here over Trey Lyons. 
this humans deck continues to impress up a game here very quickly over green black tron oh, that was i mean those thalias turned a turn four that would have been fatal push plus karn into go and i died yeah <laughs> very pretty, pretty very big deal very impressive we're going to go to the sideboards here we're going to start with trey lyons and his four collective brutalities two thoughts he's two thractus two seal of primordium two nature's claim a warping whale a graph trigger's cage and a singleton ghost quarter so i, I like the copies of collective brutality here because it does line up pretty well as a removal spell and i think the two copies of thractus give him a nice medium play that generates a lot of value other side of things for Collins, he's got two Zathur Necromancer, two Aether Sworn Cannonist, two Vithian Renegades, two Fiend Hunter, two Izzet Zatacaster, two Tyler's Tracker, the fourth copy of Reflector Mage in the sideboard, Amir Crusader, and Anna Fence of the Foremost. A lot of three drops. So I think the Vithian Raiders are probably above the board to bring in. Uh, it's not the easiest to make a three mana Shatter do anything against Tron, but it does come up sometimes, particularly against Oblivion Stone. Uh, None of these cards are really that well suited for the matchup. I think the Zathur Necromancers are okay. Uh, the Tireless Trackers might be an improvement over some other three. Same with the Anafensa. So there's some medium options here, but nothing that jumps out at me as being obviously better than cards in his main deck. Yeah, it's interesting. A card like Reflector Mage here is probably pretty good. Uh, and the reason for that is, you know, a lot of the time, Wormcoil Engine is going to come down and try to stabilize things. And if you Reflector Mage that thing, not only are you bouncing it for one turn, you're actually bouncing it for two. Yes. Now, F Reflector Mage not the biggest creature in the world, just a two, three for three. But in combination with the Lords, Mayor of Everbrook and Thalia's Lieutenant might just be big enough. And it's it'll be good in that spot, but there's plenty of other spots, you know, against some of the other larger threats or against the Planeswalkers or Oblivion Stone where it's really bad. So it's just a function of what kind of room does he have and what are the cards he absolutely has to cut. But um, Reflector Mage will have spots of being very good and it will also have spots of not really doing anything. Well, those are the options there for both players. Trey Lyon's going to be on the play here for game number two in just a moment. And while these two players do shuffle up for game number two, let's talk about the StarCityGames.com, a weekly sale where until tomorrow morning, 10.59 a.m. East Coast time, you can save a whole bunch off of a whole bunch. Yeah, you can head over to go.starcitygames.com slash weekly sale to check out what the weekly sale is. Every Monday, 11 o'clock Eastern time, new sale for the week. So make sure you're going back to the website at least once a week to see what's on sale. Right now, 25% off thousands of rares. And you, as a person interested in magic, probably need at least one or more rares, and they may be on sale. Yeah. So go to so games.com yeah. slash weekly sale. There you go. That's the hard sell right there. There it is. That is the you, hard sell. You probably need, there are rares that I need, mm -hmm. and they might be on sale. Yeah. And I'm going to go check it out later. Yeah. And well, you can do the same thing. Why wouldn't you check it out? Right. That doesn't, make, that doesn't make any sense. You definitely should check it out. Right. And then you should definitely get at least one rare. At least one rare. At least one rare. Among the thousands that yeah. are on sale. At the very least, I'd buy one. Yeah, you got to look. I buy you one. You got to at least look. You know how much 25% is? A, it's, a, it's a lot. It's a lot of purchases. It's the same thing with the street rates yesterday and people just cycling them and saying, casting. I'm not saying that it's wrong. I'm saying just tell me you thought about it. Yeah. Just go to, if you're not going to do it, at least let me know that you thought about it first. At least go to the page. Don't lose your opportunity for a discounted Burning Suns Avatar, Battlefield Forge, Future Sight with artwork I don't recognize, Zur <laughs> the Enchanter, and literally thousands of other rares. Just go and take a gander. Go look. That's right. Just go look. Just, just meander. Get lost in their eyes. Yeah. That's you all. Win. It's time well spent. <laughs> well. And well, yeah, rel yeah, relatively yeah. Right. options most people pursue. That's true. That's true. It's a it's a time value proposition. Yeah. It could be satisfying. I think this you may is, really enjoy it. I think this is the best weekly sale pitch we've ever had. Yeah. Far and away. Just at least make the effort. Yeah. What's the web link again? Go.sarcgames.com slash weekly sale. Yeah. There's also a banner on the top of the page. Just click on it. Yeah, that makes it super easy. What is that? Wanna, come on. What is that? Come on. What is that? It's a thoughtsies? No, it's not. <laughs> I've never seen that. I've that better legitimately not. never seen that before. Is that on sale? I've <laughs> did did Lions just go to the website? <laughs> straight to, <laughs> straight, to, straight to, to the website. <laughs> straight to the website. <laughs> that thing must have been on sale. <laughs> I legitimately have never seen what that card. What is that? Thalia Guardian of Thraben, Thalia Heretic's Cathar, Thalia's Lieutenant, Thalia flooded over there along with... 
a bunch of lands that allow him to cast his many Thalias. Yeah. No proxies. Yeah. <laughs> It's a, it's a tournament game. <laughs> Go to Collins. He's going to play a cavern. Could be naming anything. Back to Trey. All right. No turn through Tron again. Cool. Mm -hmm. Cool. <laughs> another, yep. Oh, another uh -huh. fake magic card. Well, now I know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Kite Self Rebooter was the draw for the turn. I literally work in magic every day and have yeah. for the past five and a half years. Yeah. I have never seen that card. No, no. Well, I'm, I th it's an invocation from Amonkhet, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it must be. Or this, I don't know what the second set is. It w if it was on the first or second, or yeah. whatever the case may be. Mm, power Power of Hour of Devastation. Windswept Heath the draw. Know. It's an unclaimed territory named humans. There is Thali Thalia, Guard of Thraben. Let's get this Thalia party started. So it looks like Lions' is hand right now, easy path to Tron, but no payout. No payout. No payout. Power plant in mind, yes. Can play a scrying for the Tower of Power. Looks like he may have Fatal Push, not entirely sure, but not going to play the scrying, it appears. All right. Let's go back over to Collins Mullen. Ancient Zigger out the draw. In for two, for strike. Unclaimed territory, now claimed by humans. Thalia, Heretic Cathar. This is a Thalia combo deck. Yes. Yeah. They work well together. They do. Your lands being tapped is a combo with your spells costing more. That is a great combo. All right, here's Expedition Map. Tower of Power, where are you? I appreciate... Trey Lyons definitely has a very well-defined sense of style and self. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily all the calls I agree with, but I do appreciate he is articulating he is. a sense of self. Let it be known. Even if it means that he cast what I initially thought was a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get a judge. Yeah, stop, 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 stop the match. Stop, stop the match. All right, we're going to Trey. He's got the tower power in hand. He's got a swag Ooh. toss. That's, that's, that's actually just not very good right now. Well, I mean, it's still five and brawl's okay, and he can cast it, which is nice. So first, it enters the battlefield tapped. Right, yeah, you don't block that turn. Yeah, I'm gonna need you, I'm gonna need you to tap that Thrag Tusk. I don't think that's a trigger. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to tap that Thrag Tusk. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need you. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need you to tap that. Yeah, there we go. There you go. That's the first thing. Second thing, Thrag Tusk, not great against threats that have first strike. Well, it's okay against a 2-1. You, you mean a 3-2? It's worse now. Yeah. It's, it's you, mean def it's you, mean, you mean a 3-2. It's definitely worse okay. now. Okay, got it. Got it. And it's even worse against a 4-3. But, you know, uh, Lions is on the board. This is the first, <laughs> true. This is the first board true. impacting play he's made yeah. in two games. Yeah. You if, know? We, if we're looking for positives. Don't, 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 you know, you don't have to bust him up here. I'm not trying to sell him short. I'm yeah. not trying to sell him short. He's got to have to play a land here. Like, he just doesn't have a big payoff yet. No Karn, no O-Stone. No Ugin. I mean, Ugin's lights out, but he hasn't found one yet. There's a power plant. Yeah, I mean, you get into, you know this. You get into spots with Tron where I got my mana, and now I just have to wait for one of my haymakers to show up. Yeah. And Mullen can't really stop it. No. Nope. Can't really Ooh. interact. But he can make the clock so fast that Lions has one or two draws instead of three or four. Howled Fountain of Land that's going to be found via the Windswept Heath for Collins. We're going to go back over to Collins. May have been another lieutenant. Didn't get a great look. Apparently not. Beat downs. 
Thraxos is going to block Thalia, Heretic, Cathar. A Beast will be on the way. Trey's down to six. Not the fastest clock here from Mullins, but Trey just can't find anything right now. Yeah, and I like Lions here not getting too fancy, just committing a chump blocker. He knows at this point it's just a, a matter of squeezing out whatever draw steps he can and hoping to find a big card. Yep. There's a beast. That's going to be the battlefield tapped because of Thalia. They're right on top of it. Looks like it might have a vial here. Yep. Not a great draw right now for Collins, so. He's going to play a Cavern of Souls, likely named Human. And we're going to go over to Trey. Trey is going to take one. And he's going to play a Fatal Push now that he's finally able to turn on Revolt with his Thraktus dying. Big draw, big draw. Here we go. Big draw. That big, counts. That's three, four, that's five, one of the six, seven, eight. No, that's, 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 that might be the best one. And I... Does he have Sanctum to go with it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, he didn't play Sanctum. He definitely has it. I would have. I think he's got Sanctum in his hand. Yeah, I would have cast Sanctum. If he didn't. Yeah, I would have played Sanctum too if he does have that. However, that's okay. Here is Ulamog. I think he'll be all right. A, yeah, those are good targets for Ulamog. Yep. Yeah. Todd Anderson, Beast Token, are going to come in and pass the turn back. <laughs> Todd Anderson. Beast token feeling a little rowdy after yeah. yesterday's Alabama game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alabama win or lose? Oh, one. <laughs> okay, okay. I mean, I just default assume they won because th I can't imagine them ever losing. Yeah. <laughs> feeling a little frisky. Yeah. So this game's neat because, well, that's, that's not neat. Vials are bad right now. Mantis Rider could actually steal things. And weirdly enough, Reflector Mage could be good. Oh, oh here we go. If he oh, misses. boy. You might get it. Come on, Tron Land. Come on, Tron Land. Come on, Tron Land. Well, that's Tron Land. That's a Thrag Tusk. That's a Stirrings. Ah, oh, the star. Oh, you want to redraw here, you, my friend. You, you want to redraw, I think. I don't think you need the mana. I think you need a redraw. <sighs> Lions, it's some tight play. Yeah. Just running bad as usual. Ice cold here. Ice cold here in the booth. <laughs> You know what card doesn't do it for me? What's that? Land War Waste. Not your favorite? No. How about Ugin? That okay for you? Yeah. He there. got that off the redraw, so rewarded for taking the star yeah. over the yeah. over Tron the piece. Over the Tron piece that he did not need. Just on his A game. That's why he's 9 and 0, folks. Taking the star instead of mana 14 and 15. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Taylor, yeah, this should just be lethal right now. Just plush Ugin, dome you for three, attack you for 13. Yeah, we're all set. Trey Lyons going to win game number two here over Collins Mullen. Green Black Tron humans getting ready for game uh, number three. Is that the first game loss we've seen Mullen take on camera? I mean, it seems like he hasn't lost in forever. Take a look at Collins' sideboard yet again here. So Trey Borey in these thought seizes. Tore apart Collins' hand a little bit. And just Collins' sideboard just not very well equipped for the matchup. There's no standout card. I'm sure, you know, if he wanted to play a standout card, he could. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there's some human that just annihilates Tron. But he just doesn't have him right now this weekend. Avalanche Riders. A little expensive. It's a human, though. It, I th think. I'm not. <laughs> I assume. I don't think it's a dwarf. No. It seems like it is uh, a human. Avalanche Riders. That's a human. A little slow. What are the other, what are the other Stone Rain creatures out there you said stone rain oh free spot Ugh. and you you actually said that you weren't going to do it all weekend oh busted busted i was gonna try to go to ice storm but yeah. that avalanche rider's got in my head uh -huh. so that counts that counts yeah ravenous baboons is neither that a is human not a human nor legal yeah it is a baboon yeah it is a baboon that's correct and before you think about it, Fulminator Mage is an elemental. Elemental? Yes. Okay. It, was during, it was in the elemental block. You could play off of Primal Beyond. You could also get it back with Horde of Notions. Ah. Yeah. 
That was the block format that made me put down the magic cards for a little bit. That was the only time I ever won. <laughs> and then there you go. Yeah. <laughs> different strokes for different folks, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I want to talk about the uh, the StarCityGames.com newsletter real quick before game number three, and might even happen during game number three because it's your source for Magic the Gathering news, and it's free people. Yep, you can head over to go.starcitygames.com slash newsletter, get yourself signed up. It's your source for Magic the Gathering news with highlights from some of the best articles on Star City Games, upcoming SCG tour dates and locations. You can also look for invitational qualifiers or game nights near you, an exclusive cardboard crack comic, and as Cedric mentioned, that signing up is free. At go.starcygames.com. You got 25% back from the rares you bought. You get the newsletter for free. You're basically on the clock right now, yeah. making money as you watch the broadcast. It's unclear how we even stay open right, for this business. Is, this is, I don't understand the business model. I've never asked, but just by engaging with the products we are endorsing, you are earning money at home or your friend's house, <laughs> or wherever your parents' house, yeah. maybe. I don't know. Wherever you're at right now. You know what? We got another free one. <laughs> Our YouTube page. Dial Let's up. talk about that. Free entertainment. Something else that's totally free. Instead of going to the movies and spending $15, you're just on the YouTube page. Just subscribe today at youtube.com slash starcitygames. Archives of all sorts of content, split-second versus series, Commander versus Magic Online playtesting, best of SCG Tour, and much more. Subscribe today over at youtube.com slash starcitygames. Get notified when new content is uploaded to the page. You never have to pay for your Netflix subscription. You cancel that. Yep. Don't go to the movies. Don't, don't leave your house or your room even. You just stay on the YouTube page and watch hundreds or thousands of hours so of many Magic hours. the Gathering content. So many hours. Do you know how much it costs to subscribe? Nothing. Nothing. It is nothing. You can, you can use some of those savings to have food delivered to your house and never have to leave That's your... True. You just get rare sent to you that are cheap <laughs> and you're reading the newsletter. You're flooded newsletters. You're flooded, <laughs> flooded newsletters. Flooded newsletters. Just, just never changing your clothes yep. or engaging with anyone else. Don't it's have to do that. There Don't have you. to. Just a pile of discounted rares around your laptop watching free Magic Gathering content for the rest of your life. StarCityGames.com <laughs> .com. slash newsletter or YouTube <laughs> or weekly, weekly sale. sale. Yep. Or regionals. Regionals you have to leave your house for. That's, that doesn't work. Yeah. Can't advertise that product now. No. That's going to have to come next round. Right. Uh, Cavern it's Souls. not synergistic. Naming human. Oh, boy. <laughs> turn, <laughs> turn to Thalia. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, no. Playing around oh, it. Oh, no. Playing around it. No oh, second land. Oh, no. <laughs> this is not it. Yeah. This is that is Just ring the bell. This is just. Takes turn three. Tron off the table, too. If he has a Manus Rider, that's. He's 10 and 0. He's 10 and 0 now. He is 10 and 0. We are all we are all done. That's tapped. It's a fast land. It's not that fast. Your yeah. turn. Who boy. A couple of ether vials. Pretty bad draws. Not sure it's going to matter. Oh, the old booter. The old booter scooter. Take a look. Probably going to take a fatal push. Yep. Take a Thought Seize, take a Sylvan Scrying, Walking Ballistic, we played for one. Make him cast that Thought Seize. <laughs> it's actually kind of a good idea. Um, maybe take Scrying, I don't know. Uh, walking Ballistic. <laughs> can't take Ballista, can't take Ballista. Oh, yeah, great, yeah, yeah. We Sorry, learned that yesterday. Me. Excuse me. Let's take a look at the Freebooter. Bang, there it is. Target opponent reveals his or her hand. You choose a non-creature, non-land card from it. Exile that until the Booter Scooter leaves the battlefield. It's a good magic card. Yes. That's what that is. This feels like sort of part of the general push R&D articulated for more power in reactive cards. Yeah. Although this is somewhere in the middle because it's a creature that can attack and block, so it's somewhere in between reactive and proactive, but the lion's share of the power is in the, the enter the battlefield trigger. It's an attack for six, puts you to eight, vile post combat. Let's go over to Trey. Trey will draw. Didn't get a great look. It was a chromatic sphere. A little slow. I was a little skeptical about Thalia, Heretic Athar. Yeah, not anymore. Uh, it's been doing some work. Yeah. <laughs> this matchup, it seems, really it's good. Giant beating. I mean, it's 
multiple turns of development. I'm like it's very fun. much prepared to lose 100 tickets on Magic Online playing this human's deck this week. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, welcome to my Lock evening. Lock it in. Welcome to my evening yesterday. Although not, not playing humans, of course. But Yeah, you just lost all night? I lost, I think I lost seven or eight straight matches across multiple formats. That is... Like, I was in the spot of, okay, I can't play any more modern. I got to fire up Legacy. And it's like, okay, I can't play any more. I can't play any more of that. Thai's Lieutenant from Collins is going to pump up the jam. It's going to make the attack lethal, and that is going to do it. Collins Mullen is going to win this game and match over Trey Lyons. Two games to one. Humans of all shapes and sizes. 10-0 here in Cincinnati.